Okay, so I'm trying to figure out here, um, number one, why we did so poorly on these cards just in general. I have two uh, 2012 uh, Fleer Retro Playmakers Theater. These things are numbered out of 100. One of them got a 4, one of them got a 7. Um, I think, you know, when you're looking at the card from a distance, um, you know, I don't see any noticeable flaws, but they're definitely flaws. So let's take a closer look. So we'll start with the seven. Um, you know, as I look through this here, you know, going left to right, top to bottom, centering looks really good. Uh, but there are definitely some issues on the, um, on the corners and the edges. You know, I, I think the, you know, there's nothing surface wise on here, but definitely this top right corner, that's problematic. Um, and, you know, as I look more at this particular one, you see like, I don't know, it's almost like the foil, you know, the foil might be coming up on the edge a little bit. I, I don't know. I can't quite tell. I don't know if you guys have a sense for it, but, um, you know, there, it's definitely the, I don't know, I say surface level cards, if you will, but, you know, and then when you turn it over, you look at the back, um, you can tell that, you know, the, this edge, um, Wait a second. Yeah. Well, there, there's that problematic corner. Oh, no, it's another problematic corner. And then this edge is just rough. So the seven seems pretty valid. Um, well, let's take a look at the other one. So here, this four, you know, I think it really almost looks exactly like the seven. But when you look at the sort of the top middle part of this card, I mean, we, we've got corner issues, right? But the that's not the reason we got a four. The reason we got a four is this creasy thing that you can see if I get it. Yeah, I get it right. Right there. You can see right above the M and it's diagonal. Four. Looks like a good grade. Makes sense. 